Hey skaters, I'm Dirty Deborah Harry and I'm with the Dirty School Skate and Sure Group Roller Skates and we're back again at the Fountain Valley Skating Center here to bring you a little tutorial on backwards crossovers or more commonly known as cross pulls. All right, listen up. We got lots of good info for you tonight. We are going to take this step by step as always. I'm gonna start with the mechanics. We're gonna go a little bit into flow and then it's your job to put the style part into it, okay? So listen up, here we go. Now, you're gonna be skating at the rink, let's say, or this could be outside. You're rolling down the straightaway, doing your own thing, and you hit the corner. How do we navigate the corners? Most commonly, we do it with cross pulls. Cross pulls help you get from point A to point B, and they help you gain power and speed very, very efficiently. All right? When we're learning crossovers, however, we don't want to jump straight into full power crossovers. What we want to do is go for the most basic form. Here we go. Follow me. We're going to do scissors. You're going to go down with the butt, up with the gut, down with the butt, up with the gut. If you don't know how to do scissors, look up my basic backwards skating video as well as how to cruise on roller skates. Because when you do your crossovers backwards or forward, it's the same thing. I need you to drop your body weight down, push your skates out, lift your body weight up, suck it up in the gut, and bring your skates together, down and up. Now, the thing that you really have to remember when you're skating backwards is you need to look into the direction of travel when you're gonna do your cross pulls or crossovers. So that means if I'm skating this way, I should not be looking this way. I need to turn and look into the direction of travel. This is probably the most common mistake because people, when they're skating backwards, they want to look this way because they're afraid of people who are going to run into them. When in reality, they are going to run into someone else, you need to turn your head. The other part of this is really important. Your body posture from your upper body dictates everything. So when I'm gonna do a cross pull, I need to look into the direction of travel. When I do that and I look over my shoulder, my shoulder automatically opens. I need this to happen. Head turns shoulder, shoulder turns hip, hip turns foot, okay? So when I look over, my shoulders open. When I think about my arms, they're just an extension of the shoulder. So I need your arm that is in the back, and then this direction is the right, to be extended out. Your left is in front, but your right hand needs to be in an open position. Why this is important is this opens up the shoulder and helps us skate that arc, corner, or circle as long as this shoulder is open. If I turn my hand downward, it turns my shoulder in like this, and the direction of travel will change. We don't want that. So, again, as we're skating backwards, we're looking into the direction. We reach out to it, we turn our hand, and we're gonna skate towards it. Look, later on, I am certainly not expecting you to take to the rink session and be like, I'm doing a cross pull. Okay, that would be silly. But I'm showing you the mechanics of it so that you can practice it correctly. So later on, you can do whatever it is you want to do, okay? So, upper body, turn, twist at the waist. Actually point where you want to go, that helps. Turn your hand down. Now, once we've gone beyond the scissoring, now we've got to put weight on the very first edge. The very first edge is going to be a right outer back edge. We're going to stop here and we're going to look down at my foot so you understand what I'm talking about. When I say right, I mean right foot. When I say outer, I mean pressure to the outside of your boot. When I say back, just his direction of travel. 
so it's a right outer back as you can see right here my knee is pushing more towards my baby toe and there's pressure on the outside of my boot okay I'm like that now alternately this left foot is going to be on a left inner back edge that means the positioning of my knee and the pressure on the boot is going to be on the inside so we've got those two edges you gotta know these two edges so we've already done our scissors now we're going to put pressure on our right outer back edge and we're going to start pushing with our left inner back edge we call these scooter pushes you're just going to push out bring it in think about your knees spread them bring them back in spread bring it back in always looking over your shoulder push it out bring it in push it out bring it in you want it smooth bring your body weight up drop it down bring your body weight up drop it down bring your body weight up drop it down now once you have these two edges you're going to have to see if you can line these two edges up we're gonna look over our shoulder I don't need to keep repeating this you should already know look over your shoulder hand open okay we've got this this is snack area as always always tight snacks tight okay we need to get our feet in the line you're gonna scissor out pull back in and I need your feet in a line just like this at this moment I am sucking in everything I got right here Ugh. this is super tight my arms are out my shoulders are straight across and I'm looking I bend my knees, I push it out, come into a line, push it out, come into a line position. This is so important. If you do this and you do the scissors often enough, you're gonna develop really insane leg muscles on the insides of your legs, which you desperately need for everything you do in skating. So you may find yourself going, get them in a line. I can't get it past here. That's okay. Bend your knees, suck your gut in, and push till you get it into a line. Relax, push out into a line. All right. Now, here comes the next part. You are going to have to pick up your right foot. This is going to sound a little bit crazy. Like literally, I'm going to need you to pick up your right foot. I'm going to need you to pick up your right foot and go backwards around a corner and be comfortable with it, just like this. Okay? Now, I am on a left inner back edge. Okay? I need you to be comfortable on that edge so that the right foot can dig in and do its job. That means bend my knees, lift one, two three scissor one two three look behind scissor one two three now that you know that you can lift this foot up no problem is when we really get to work you are going to scissor scooter push lift set down in the middle or to the inside and pull into a line and squeeze push out set it down squeeze push out set it down get into a line squeeze your thighs push out once you have this and you're moving both feet in sync is when it starts going super hard and fast however you want it you get to this point you can do anything you want with your arms you want to turn it around that's fine if you want to take it here 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 whatever you want to do everything that we do in the regular skating direction can be done in the opposite skating direction no problem i put my arms out now i'm looking over my left i've got my right in front open up my hand scissors Scooter push, lift, extend, and pull, extend, and pull, extend, pull, cross, extend, pull, cross. I lean in, lean forward. If 
talk practice. Let's talk how you're going to practice this. I feel like I just laid it out for you, but I'm going to review. See these figure skating circles located on almost every rink skating floor. If you don't have them or you're skating outside, you're in a tennis court, whatever, just draw a big one. All right? You're going to skate backwards around the circle. Back arm on the line. Left arm on the line. Bend your knees and scissor, scissor, scooter push, scooter push, lift, down, inline, cross, extend, pull, inline, push and cross, down, squeeze, cross, squeeze, cross, squeeze, cross. Your arms can go down only if your shoulders are in this open position. <laughs> Alrighty, skaters. I feel like I've given you enough. Have I? Have I not? Those are cross bowls or backwards crossovers. Alrighty? So I'm going to need you guys to practice as always. Um, gotten a lot of comments about people losing motivation. Let's just talk about that real quick. When you embark on this journey of skating and you think, Oh my God, I'm so excited. I just got a brand new pair of skates. I can't wait to go out and try. And you go out and try and you have these, you've been watching all these videos of these really good skaters and these people doing all these crazy tricks. Or you go down to your local roller rink and there's some people that are really, really good. And you're thinking, oh my God, I'm gonna be like that. And then oftentimes you put on your skates and it's nothing like that. Your reality is totally different. Your reality is like, oh my God, did I just get a check? Did I just get, oh my God, I am bad at this. I am not good at this. Particularly if you're older and you're coming back to skating. Because here's the deal when you're a little bit older. When I'm saying older, meaning if you have memories of like, I used to skate when I was a kid, and now you're getting back into it. What you're dealing with is a brain with memories on how to do it, but you've got a new body. Your body has grown and changed and sometimes not for the better, but you know, you've got a new body, but with like a little kid brain of like, I'm gonna do this fun stuff and I remember how to do it. I used to do it, blah, blah, blah. You go out there and try to do it and you're like, oh my God, reality check. This is really, really difficult for me. Please understand that learning how to skate is a lifetime journey. It's like other sports, kind of like, boom golf, yoga. I mean, there's a lot of different sports where you take to it and you're like, wow, I'm going to be doing this for a long time because oftentimes you're getting better, but it's also opening up new doors for you in the sport. And you realize, oh my God, I have so much more to learn. So can I really, really, really encourage you to take it step by step. Each time that you go to the rink or each time that you strap on your skates and you focus on technique, you will get better. But please let your expectations of how much better you should get just be, I don't want to say set your expectations low, but don't be like the experience is only good if I'm up here. The experience of putting on your skates and skating getting a little bit better, I promise you it will just build and build and build and build and you'll look for a year from now and be like oh my god I am so much better and for every one of you out there who struggles I want you to know there's someone in the lobby someone sitting on the sidelines maybe someone in your family who looks at you and is like oh my god they're amazing look at what they're doing they're trying they're out there they're roller skating how crazy is that so please don't lose your motivation Keep your expectations in line. Practice on a regular basis. I would rather see you practice 15 minutes a day rather than four hours on one day. You'll get a lot more out of it. But I'm not gonna dictate to you how you do it. I just want you to do it, okay? So you guys, get to working on your backwards. Whether it's just scissoring, scooter pushing, or cross pulls. Let me know how it goes. Leave me some comments. Please share this video. Let's get some traction on it. 
And please subscribe and hit that bell if you haven't already. And uh, I would really, really appreciate it. So that's all I got for you tonight. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, go practice. I'm just gonna goof around here at the rink. Have fun with my backwards. guys I've been getting a lot of comments asking what's that sound in the back I had actually one guy asked me what's that satanic sound it's got to be from one of these games right one of my favorite games here is this one it's called pull my finger here's the finger and sometimes when I'm here late at night I'll just hear it yell out pull my finger <laughs> right okay so that's that one